Why and I'm requesting you my child I know I'm being selfish you have all the rights to hate me and I will never forget myself for what happened with you till now but please this would be the last time tears were dropping from your eyes why me why every time it's me only why i'm always a replacement for whatever she rejects i don't want to marry not because he's poor i don't care but i'm not ready dad he held her hands between his and nodded he was crying as well i know but only this time just believe in your father i'm so tired of living in this guilt i don't want to die out of this guilt my child because i want to see you happy i want to give you a normal life i thought a mother's love would fix everything but that was my biggest mistake i'm your sinner you pressed your lips trying not to cry loudly because seeing your father crying in front of you was breaking your heart only this once just believe in me this time you wiped your tears i never hated you dad you wanted to give me a better life it's just didn't go the way you thought it was me who was destined to face all this and don't worry i'm ready for the marriage i've already stopped expecting anything from my life your dad passed a weak smile between his tears and hugged you thank you my child Are you happy? Now you don't have to marry that broke man. Sarah smiled along with her mother and then they both looked at Mr. Shin, your father. Thanks dad, and also you don't have to look for any guy for my marriage. I will tell you when I'm I'll be ready for it. So when is the marriage? We should at least do the bare minimum. Your dad got up. My first and beloved daughter is getting married. I'll do everything that I can. He left from there making her roll her eyes. Shin Wayan, do you take John Jungkook as your lawfully wedded husband? You lift up your eyes and for the first time you saw the guy who's going to be your husband after this. Your heart skipped a beat when you looked at him. It was very different feeling. Shin Wayan, you came out of your thoughts. Yes, I do. Do you John Jungkook take Shin Wayan as your lawfully wedded wife? He smiled and looked at you before giving a nod. I do. Then the priest told him to kiss you. This was the first time you felt respected. The way he softly kissed your lips and then your forehead as well, it tells a lot about him as a person. Mr. Shin, your father, never really thought his life will take a completely different mode while he waited for the happiness to come in his life. He lost his wife when she gave birth to his beautiful and beloved daughter. You were always dear to him, the most precious gift his wife left for him. Everyone was worried about how he will raise a child single-handedly and suggested him to marry again. But he was adamant and decided to raise you alone. But it was a lot harder than he thought. In the end, because of constant nagging by his family, he decided to remarry. He wanted a woman who can give you a mother's love. At first, everything was good. He thought now things will get back on track, but sadly, it never happened. Your stepmother never liked you, especially after she gave birth to her own daughter. She completely turned cold. Every good and best things were for her, and he always gets second choices. Your father was completely broken from inside and he was so guilty for being like this. That's why he came up with an idea. As soon as you turned 20, he started to look for a perfect guy and family who can fill you fill your life with happiness. After 3 years, his boss asked him about you. He saw you in his office once and asked your father if he would like to give his daughter's hand and his son's hand. There was nothing better than this. He knew that your life would completely change in a good way. His son is the CEO of the company, but Mr. Shin knows that if he directly takes this proposal for you, his stepmother would never let it happen. So he planned all this. 
The only thing he changed was to add that the guy is poor but belonged to a good family and his stepmother as soon as heard that she lost her interest and fo forced you to marry instead. He didn't tell you this because he wanted to let you explore and experience this new life that you're going to live, a life full of happiness and love. You came inside the room, you were a little confused from the time you came here. Seeing this huge mansion and everything, he was poor then why he brought you to this mansion? Is there something you need? You flinched slightly and turned back only to see him standing in front of you. He is still handsome and most importantly, he is not a dream. He you felt your heart again skipping a beat. I know it's not easy to adjust in a new place but it's okay. You can take your time and just feel free. He was talking to you so softly and friendly as if he knows you from ages. Is this house here? He gave you a confused look. Yes, but not anymore. Now this is our house. You don't like it? You shook your head. Is this why dad told me to believe him? Was he talking about this? He whispered under your breath. Are you hungry? You looked at him. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm a little nervous right now and whenever I get nervous, I feel hungry. And then when I get hungry, I can eat anything so I'm going to cook ramen. Would you like to have some? You couldn't believe that this guy is real. Not only he is handsome and caring but also cheerful. He was making you feel comfortable without trying hard. You gave a nod while he smiled. Okay then, I'll be back in 5 minutes. Till then, you can change your dress. It must be suffocating. Your clothes are already in the closet. He smiled and walked outside, closing the door. You were so confused. Your thoughts were more tangled than your life. Does he already know about you? You walked towards the closet. You slide open the door only to see it filled with expensive clothes and other accessories. You trace the fabrics of dresses with your fingers. It still feels like you are inside a dream. A tear escaped from your eyes. I don't know what was your plan, but even if you don't do all this, I will still love you. You are not only a father but everything to me. Never thought eating ramen after marriage will taste so different and good. He laughed a little seeing your confused face. I'm just trying to cheer you up. Can I ask you what you do? I mean, I'm not sure if I, I was told about you right. But your dad told me about you very well. So my dad knows you well? Of course. For almost 20 years when I was just a child, he became my dad's secretary. Then why didn't he tell me everything? Why did he hide it? You mumbled, pardon? You looked at him and shook your head. Well, no worries about your dad not telling you much. I'll introduce myself to you slowly. You know a slow building relationship is always strong and long lasting. He again flashed that beautiful smile making your heart again skip a beat. Take these eggs too, he said putting an egg in your bowl. Are you okay marrying a girl like me? He stopped chewing and looked at you. What's wrong with you? Do you kick while sleeping? You blushed. Don't worry, I'll manage. I'm not talking about that. I don't kick. You said with a slow laugh making him smile too. Well, although we are married couple now but if you are not comfortable then I can go and sleep on the couch. It will be fine. This bed is quite big. We can put pillows in the middle. He smiled while he looked away.
As you see, you walk towards the other side of the bed before sitting on it. Thank you, huh? Because I really don't like sleeping on the couch. And then you both looked at each other, don't know why you were so comfortable with him. Without much efforts, he was stealing your heart. Good night. A very beautiful night to you too. It doesn't take you much time to fall for Jungkook. He was the most amazing guy you have ever seen. You found your life changing completely. His parents love you, he loves you and people actually value your worth. Now you understood why your dad wanted you to get married to him in place of your sister. This is the best second choice of your life and you are grateful for it. Even after being a multi-billionaire, Jungkook is so down to earth. Arrogance and ego doesn't even touch him and he is so soft-spoken who wins anyone's heart. Less than a month and you become like those couple who date for ages. You didn't even hesitate to share all the history of your life to him. He is a good listener as well. Not only you got a great husband but a friend, a family and a whole new world that is full of happiness and love. Are we ready? You smiled and looked at him through the mirror. He walked behind you. I guess I should have dressed better. You are already looking so handsome. Yes, but not that handsome to stand with my gorgeous wife who is looking like a goddess herself. You chuckled. Now this is a little too much. But it's the truth and truth is always hard to accept. You laugh while he chuckled as well. Jokes apart but I'm really so nervous. You said getting up from the stool and turned towards him. I have never been to such huge party. You have to get used to them madam. You are the wife of John Jungkook. Dad will be there too right? Yes. Shall we go now? You looked at him and nodded. This party was huge. Your in-laws hosted it to introduce all their business and every people they know who didn't able to come to your wedding. They wanted everyone to know who is the one and only daughter-in-law of John family. Come here, my child. She held your hand and walked you towards her group of ladies. They all were so mesmerized by you and continuously praising you. Jungkook is really lucky to get such a beautiful wife, but we should not forget that he is among those sons that mom only dreams of having. Without a word, he got married with the choice of a girl his parents wanted. Yes, but Jungkook knew about her even though they never met. She said looking at you and then smiled. Then she asked Jungkook to introduce you to all the other people as well. You were nervous more than you were on your wedding day, but Jungkook was holding your hands the whole time trying to comfort you. Your eyes teared up when you saw your father. He walked near you and although he was trying to act strong, but he could have couldn't able to hide those moist eyes after he saw his daughter. I almost didn't recognize you. You were pressing your lips from inside not to cry in between hundreds of people. I will leave you two alone. He pressed your hand gently before leaving it and smiled at you before walking away. How are you doing, Vyan? A tear finally escaped from your eyes, better than before. Just miss you every day. He smiled and patted your head. To be honest, me too. You chuckled a little and sniffed. But after giving you in safe hands, I'm at relief. How is everything? You nodded. 
may be better than you imagined for me. I don't know if I am finding it dreamy because it is happening with me for the first time. After you, I have got another family who loves me as if I belong to them for ages. He smiled. This is the life you always deserve. I never able to give you that but I am happy that God at least listened to my prayers. What about you? Are you okay? He smiled and nodded. Just see the smile on my face. I was never so happy like this before. You hugged him while he patted your back while trying to hold his tears back. Don't you think you are too close? Remember what we agreed on the first night of our marriage? Jungkook exhaled and then pulled you more closer making your heart race. Yes, but the fun fact is we never kept pillows between us. There were no boundaries between us from the very first day. Am I wrong, Mrs. John Jungkook? Your cheeks turned red and were too shy to say anything. He chuckled and pinched your cheeks lightly. What happened? Did I make you speechless? Be grateful that I'm not saying anything or else. You paused because even you don't know what you want to say. He raised his brow. Or else, say it madam. You pushed him and got up from the bed leaving him laughing. Or else you won't see me in this bed and I'm going to sleep on the couch. Bye. You grabbed your pillow and blanket but he was quick enough to catch you along with the blanket. As if I let you. Why? Why won't you let me sleep on the couch? He came so close to your face that your noses were almost touching. You could clearly hear your heart beat. Because I can't sleep without you. You looked down and hid your face in the blanket making him chuckle. If you'll blush like this, then it will be so hard for me to control myself. This is my weakness. Your eyes widened. He suddenly picked you up along with the blanket and pillow. You looked at him with wide eyes. A month ago, today was the day we got married. Let's celebrate our first night on the first month anniversary. What do you mean? You were speechless. I'll make you understand everything, sweetheart. Just leave it on me. He said walking towards the bed while you gulped. He smiled when he saw how you were looking at him while cheeks red. He made you lay down on the bed and kiss the tip of your nose. 